So the first thing I do when I wake up, especially on a day off, is just go straight to the kitchen because when I wake up, I'm hungry. Like, I'm hungry in the mornings. And today I had a couple of like apple pies, little apple pies, but I'm like, I have watermelon. That sounds really good. So it turns out like super gelatinous in the middle and it's weird. Gel gelatinous watermelon is not something that I'm used to. So I'm gonna just toss it. I'm trying to eat the crunchy parts around, but the center doesn't taste rotten. It just tastes like it froze in my fridge and then thawed out. It's gross. Um, gonna throw it away. I'm making this video because on my days off, like I have told you guys yesterday, I today's technically like my Sunday, my day off, so I'm scrolling through the comments and there's a lot of people say she's engaged and why would she lie to us about it? And I am not one to share personal information because I have gotten a lot of death threats from a lot of people actually, not only on this channel but a couple of the other channels like uh, Nika Banana Rider. When I first started posting there, I got a lot of hate from a lot of women or a lot of troll accounts and I believe that a lot were angry women uh, that were just posting under random accounts because I would get emails as well from women saying that they had caught their dude doing whatever to my videos, which I'm like, that's not my problem because if he has, you know, if he's doing that to my videos, which are... For the most part, I'm fully clothed, and I think, I mean, that's not on me. Nonetheless, I got a lot of hate. I got a lot of death threats from religious groups, usually religious older men, for whatever reason. I got a lot of hate from the MGTOW community. I have gotten hate from vegan girls. There's a famous uh, vegan YouTuber, and she threatened to sue me and all this stuff. Crazy. So I'm just like, look, relax. Everyone just gotta chill out. Why is everybody so hangry all the time? I think people just need to eat more watermelon, something. Everyone's so angry and just quick to say, you know, you're this, you're that. I hate you, I'm gonna kill you. And for the most part, I've never, I, ha I do keep those death threats filed away, I guess you could say, just because you never know. But I've never really reported them to the police because I feel that the majority of people who have sent me those threats are just coward trolls and I don't take trolls seriously because it's very easy to be a 600 pound um, dude who lives in someone's basement to just be typing typing away threats and you know I, I feel like those people have nothing better to do so I don't take them too seriously for the most part I just ignore them but I do keep them on file because if Worst comes to worst, I could track them down if I really needed to, if they actually tried to hurt me. So I'm making this video because as I scroll through the comments, a lot of people think that I'm lying about my personal life. And it's not that I'm lying about my personal life. It's that I'm, I like to keep those things very private. Yet at the same time, I understand why some people can be quite judgmental because you wonder how can somebody want privacy in their life when they're willing to discuss their sexual life, their practices in public on YouTube especially so such a public forum yet you have to understand that when you do have people threatening you uh, or when people ask me if I'm engaged or where I was born or where my family lives or if I have brothers and sisters I rarely answer those questions and it's for my personal safety as well as the personal safety of those loved ones around me because you you may think that you know you are just you may not mean anything when you're typing those things you, like I said you just may be some you know fat old dude or woman in a basement with nothing better to do maybe you're jealous or angry or whatever and you're not thinking anything about it but I for safety have to take those personal precautions because I don't want to get hurt and I don't want my family members to get hurt or my loved ones to get hurt or my friends to get hurt so when I tell you I live in Chicago Yes, I live close to the city, but I'm not going to tell you how close and I'm not going to tell you what county. And when I tell you that I'm not engaged, it's it's because it's true. I'm not engaged. Don't assume that because I'm wearing this beautiful ring that's an actual diamond that I'm engaged. So if I'm telling you I'm not engaged, I'm not engaged. You can believe, you know, what you want. 
when you ask me questions such as where where are your parents at why didn't you ever show them on these videos or why didn't you ever show your you know potential brothers or sisters or loved ones or if you're in a relationship with someone and the answer is because I don't want my loved ones to get into this crazy swirl of YouTube of what this like it's like a black hole like it can suck you in for the good but it can also suck you in for the bad and I want them to be safe so that's why I don't talk about it don't take it personally don't think that I'm trying to hide that from you because some some cre crazy creepy reason or you know I have like a second and third life going on in the background it's not that at all it just you you sometimes have to keep those things to yourselves because the world even though I want to believe that everyone watching my videos just loves me and cares about me as I care about them indirectly even though I may not know you I still care about people overall but that doesn't mean that everyone watching my videos feels the same way for me so my clothes are dry I'm gonna go now can't waste any more time maybe I'll take you guys on a walk so I'll check the weather get dressed and yeah to answer your question more directly, no, I am not engaged. Yes, it is a real diamond. Yes, it is a little bit loose on me, so yeah, there it is. Beautiful, huh? Thanks.